Hey guys, I'm going to take you through, um, this is an example of how to do um, a sort of reverse exploded view because it's asking here in the question, um, recreate the shape um, sort of toy as a complete product. So that means without it being exploded. So it's like, what would it look like if these parts were all put back together again? And with the shapes inserted halfway into the appropriate holes, draw in isometric on the grid paper below, draw the parts to the same scale as the exploded drawing. So this is the slightly confusing bit, the same scale. So that means that your drawing you do needs to be proportionately the same size as the exploded view here. So to do this, we need to look at how big, or certainly how wide are some of these sections. So if we look at this one, we can just use this, we can measure this in terms of diamonds. So this is one diamond thick. Then we can count along this bit here. So we've got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's 17 diamonds wide, so I'm gonna write 17D there. And then the other side is exactly the same, it's just like 1D. Okay, so in terms of the height, I can then go up, I can go, that's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's 15 D height, high even. Okay, so we've got that, uh, we've got the overall width, and then we just need this length here. So we've got zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine D. So what we can do is we can draw a cuboid that is nine diamonds wide, or nine diamonds deep, by 15 diamonds high, by 17 diamonds long. So let's see if we can squeeze that on here somewhere. So I'm gonna start right down the bottom, and you know what, I'm actually gonna do the guidelines in the color. So uh, I'm just gonna draw on here the crow's feet, and let's do this now. So I'm just gonna count along. So we've got zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm just gonna draw a very faint line there, so 9D. The next one's 17 and then, so 17's there, 18 and then 19. So we've got 19 diamonds in total along the length. So I'm gonna go down and do this now. So we've got zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There we go, there's the end point. So I'm just gonna put that down here as a little line as well. All right, now the height, 15 diamonds, so we count up from the origin, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There we are. Okay, then it's just a matter of just drawing in the remainders of the line. So I just do these nice and faint so then it can, um, yeah, so as long as the lines base go along the grid line, then we can just um, match up the ends. So there we go, we can go up there and we can go up there and Go back along the tram line, tram line, train track, whatever you want to call it. And there we go. All right, so that's the basic cuboid. So now inside here, we've just got to make it look relatively correct. So if we're going to do little cutouts here, so these are three diamonds wide. So one, two, three, one, two, three high, three across. And then, yeah, it seems it's just divisions of three. So we can draw that in now. So we're gonna go zero, one, two, three, and then we go up by three, and then we can go along by three, and then back down by three, and whoops, it's one diamond thick, that section there. So let's draw that in. So that's gonna go back one diamond, and then go up one diamond there. All right, and it's the same up top, so I can just literally just go up from here, and then go zero, one, two, three, there we are. We can go across, and then back up, and then go back, and then go down, and then go across. And this whole face is one diamond wide, like that there. There we go. Nice. Now we might as well do the same the other end. So I'm gonna go three diamonds in on both sides of the other end, and then three down, and both three down, and then across. Now I'm not going to draw the bottom bit because we've got the we've got this cross piece next. So for this we can just decide where's a good point to do this. So this is 19 wide in total 
it's um, 15 high, so um, I'll count up seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then it's roughly in the right place. So there's the seven, I'm just gonna draw it along one diamond thick and then yeah we've got like the vertical coming down here we can put it back along the tram line like that and then go back down along here like that cool and then we might as well just go three in again we've got to go three up and then go across now it would come down just here so i'm just going to draw that in there like that so we see the little bit of hidden um hidden there so then the last bit's like this, the little square hole we can do. Now it says you've got to show it with these shapes halfway inserted. So actually that's probably not the best way to do it. So if I make the square hole, <clears throat> yeah, that's three diamonds wide. So I'm gonna put the square hole down there. Oops, not like that. And then halfway in, so I'm just gonna draw it like that. So it might just have a, a couple of diamonds height to it coming out like that there, okay. Then we've got the triangle next. So the triangle can just go um, three diamonds across here and probably go in the middle of that one there. And we can go up by a diamond and just make the lines parallel. And then the circle. So a circle, we just do it as like an oval, oval that faces up like that. Okay. And there we are. And if you want to now show off, this is where it's good to get a darker pencil or a thicker pencil now and you do their beloved thick, thin line technique that they're always talking about um, for this. So you go around the very perimeter, if you've got time, otherwise it's really not worth doing. Um, for some reason, they really love it when you do like thick, thin line technique, they always bang on about it. Never mind the fact that it's purely, or I believe should be purely down to personal preference. Like there's no correct way to draw things really. It's however you think is the most effective way of you communicating your idea your thoughts so yeah um don't think just because it's not in the mark scheme that it's not a good way of doing it but yes we have to play to the mark scheme unfortunately for um, this stage so i'm just gonna it's a shadow there so i'm just gonna do that and then go around then we go go up and just go back along to there Yeah, there we go. All right, so that's how you can do a sort of like reassembled, reassembled drawing.